Northern, Northern High, High School. School. Today, Today is Monday, <laughs> June 6th, a 115 dismissal. Period we had one, one and two, two finals, finals and, and National, National Eyewear, Eyewear Day. Day. I'm I, Maddie. I'm Phil. Please stand for the pledge. Please do. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Word of the day, extemporaneous, unrehearsed, done or said without advanced preparation or thought, impromptu, prepared in advance by delivered without notes or text, an intemporaneous speech. I said that, intemporaneous. <laughs> <laughs> underage drinking and you should go to the vault and pick up the new literary magazine and mostly just because it has my name in it <laughs> dr. Dan Miller is offering free sports physicals to Northern Garrett athletes on Wednesday July 13th 2016 physicals will be held at 1 o'clock at his office at 69 Wolf Acre Drive in Oakland the physical forms must be completed and signed by a parent or guardian before the physical can be completed. First come, first serve. Today's news. Any student entering a 10th grade merit or honors level English class must see Miss Fleming before the end of the school year regarding summer reading. Summer service learning hours available. The Deep Creek Lions Club is looking for high school students to help with their blind camper program on July 11th through July 14th. Students will help blind students with fishing, swimming, and camping under the supervision of the Lions Club at the Deep Creek State Park. If you enjoy being outside and would like more information on this activity, or if you would like to sign up to help, please contact Miss Barb Law at barb.law at garrettcountyschools.org. All students who signed up for an AP English, Lang, or Lit next year will need to complete the assigned summer reading before school begins. Students who have not received a copy of the summer reading list should see Ms. Terrio in room 216 before school or between classes. Also, any student who signed up to take English 3 Merit should see Ms. Terrio for the appropriate summer reading list. Reminder to all cadets, all issued uniforms and equipment must be returned to Sergeant Major Hoffman. No later than Monday, June, June 6th. 6th. Hey, do you have a lot of pictures on your smartphone? Sure you do. Do you want to share them with your friends and classmates? Sure you do. Do you want to get some of them into your school's yearbook? Sure you do. But how do you do all of that? With Replay It, the free mobile app that allows you to capture, share, and view everything that happens this school year as the year unfolds. Here's how Replay It works. One, download Replay It from your app store and register. Totally free. Two, find your school. Totally easy. Three, upload photos already on your device and take and share new photos of all your school's moments that matter. We moderate all photo content to make sure that what gets shared is safe and suitable for all ages. Four, tag your photos by event, by person, by activity, however you want them to be searchable. And five, view everything that's been shared on Replay It by you and everyone else as the year unfolds. But that's just for starters. Through Replay It, you can also access past yearbook photos and videos, bring your yearbook pages to life through augmented reality, and even order your school yearbook. Get Replay It to share your best and see the rest.
lunch is chicken patty with a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Tater tot. Green beans. Fruit. Fruit and milk. Milk. Today in history. Although the term D-Day is used routinely for, as military lingo for the day an operational event will take place, for many it is also synonymous with June 6, 1944, the day the Allied powers crossed the English Channel and landed on the beaches of Normandy, France, beginning the liberation of Western Europe from Nazi control during World War II. Within three months, the northern part of France would be freed and the invasion force would be preparing to enter Germany where they will meet up with Soviet forces moving in from the east. Well, D-Day was a, obviously the most important single fight of that war. And, of course, had we lost it, there's no telling what the outcome would have been. Since the American entry into the war, American generals had been agitating for an opportunity to fight the Germans directly. The D-Day invasion, invasion of Normandy, in June 1944, represented the cutting edge of this offensive. The essential condition that underwrote the success of D-Day was the fact that Germany had been bled virtually to death by fighting on the Eastern Front uh, for several years against the Red Army and the Soviet Union before D-Day ever happened. The Germans had been preparing for this invasion as long as the Americans and the British had been, and they had been digging in and they knew that they could inflict appalling casualties on the first units ashore. Well, somebody had to do it. And so the soldiers went, and indeed, those first units did suffer very high rates of death and wounding. Quote of the day. If things seem under control, you're just not going fast enough. Mario Andretti. Have, Have a melting Monday. What? <laughs> Don't forget, come and get one. They're free. Yay, magazine. <laughs> Today <laughs> will be most... <laughs>